Okay guys, what is up and welcome back into the channel guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at our free agency and looking at who's going to stay and who's going to go. So, um, yeah, first off, we're going to take a look at the free agency categories. Um, so you guys kind of know, and then we'll take a look at our actual free agents. So let's take a look at these first, so you guys kind of know what we're talking about when we go into talking about the free agents. Um, so first up, we got an exclusive rights free agent, which is a player with less than three occurred seasons in the NFL. The player is bound to his team and is normally signed for the league minimum. If the Rams offer a minimum contract, the player has to accept or sit out this season. So all of those guys, we can we can give them a league minimum, league minimum, which I think is like nine fifty. I'm pretty sure it's league minimum, like nine hundred and fifty k, which is still a lot of money. Or they have to sit out the season. So, I think we only have one guy, and that would be John Wolford, that has this, but could be wrong. Uh, number two, we've got Restricted Free Agent. Uh, these are for players with three cured seasons only. The Rams submit an offer, and the player gets to negotiate all other teams for his best deal, and LA then gets the final decision to match another team's offer under these standards. So, basically, we can give that player an odd we can say hey i'll give you two million but then if another team wants to give him three million we have an opportunity before they get to sign him we have an opportunity to up ours to three million two or 3.1 million you know get him to come back we have an opportunity to raise ours with a restricted free agent um and the right of first refusal at salary is of 2.1 million um, an original round draft and tender at a salary of 2.2 million, or the Rams would receive a compensatory draft pick equal to the player's original draft slot. A second round tender at a salary of 3.4 million, or the Rams would receive compensatory second round pick. A first round tender at a salary of 4.8 million, or the Rams would receive a compensatory first round pick. Uh, next up, we have an unrestricted free agent, which is a player with four or more acquired seasons who can negotiate and sign with any team. There's no rules here. We don't even have to give them. We don't have to try and do them. So they can go wherever they want. So now that you guys got to have a brief overview of all kinds of free agents, let's get into this now. Uh, let's get into the Rams 2022 free agents and who should be signed. So, first up, we got quarterback John Wolford, who is an exclusive rights free agent, which means he has less than three cured seasons. So, he has to accept our offer and set the season out. Here's the thing with him we do have Bryce Perkins already under contract. I think we've given a little stinky $1 million deal. Don't pay him a whole lot because we don't have a lot of money in cap room. Right now, we're actually projected to be in negative cap room. So, I think we have, we I think we should bring John Wolford back. We do have Bryce Perkins under contract, but in a tight situation with money, maybe don't bring him back. Uh, next up, we got Sony Michelle. He is a... Un, he, he, he's an unrestricted free agent, so we can sign anywhere, um, you know, we've obviously gotten our 2.4 millions worth out of him, but, you know, we don't know how much he's going to want, and depending on who, um, depending on how much he wants, we should be able to bring him back. I'd give him no more than four million, I think. Because I think he's gonna wanna give us some money, but we gotta make sure we don't spend too much money on him because we already have Cam Akers and Daryl Henderson Jr. already under contract. So, you know, do we really need him with a healthy Akers and a healthy Henderson? It's gonna really be up to what Sean McVay wants to do with Michelle. Because we also have Jake Funk, the rookie right now, will be in his second year. He's been looking okay. Um, 
do we really need three running backs all that could start? No. So maybe let Sony Michelle walk unless we can sign him to a deal that won't break the bank. But he is not needed for us. We don't need to bring Michelle back. We can use that money to focus on other positions. Running back, next up we got Buddy Howell, who's an unrestricted free agent. Don't worry about him. We'll let him go. Don't care. He plays special teams a lot, and that's pretty easily replaced on special teams. You know, we, we don't need him. We'll let him walk. Don't even try resigning him. We can use that money somewhere else. Next up, we got OBJ. He's an unrestricted free agent. True NFL game breaker. Um, we should do everything to try and resign him, I think. And if he comes in around 15 mil, that, that'd be decent. You know, having Cooper Cup, Robert Woods are excellent players. Um, but OBJ, man, having Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, and OBJ, that would be absolutely amazing. So if we got him, that would be amazing, man. I think he's going to want to be paid, though. So it's going to take a lot of money to bring him back, though. Which I think we should try and bring him back, though. But I think he's going to want to be paid. He's going to want a lot of money to come back. And I think he's probably going to have a thousand yard season next year if he's healthy and he comes back with us. Next up, we got wide receiver Brandon Powell. He's an unrestricted free agent. Here's the thing with him. We picked him up midseason. He uh, done a great job at punt returner and kick returner. But here's the thing. Does Sean McVay want to leave Tutu Atwell to um, get the punt and kick returns? Because Atwell was doing that, then he got hurt. Um, That's why we got Brandon Powell. So do we keep Tutu Atwell, let him return the punts and kicks, let Brandon Powell walk. It's all going to depend up on what Les Snead and Sean McVay want to do with Brandon Powell. Because we could probably sign him back for a little cheap deal at around $1 million, And at least he's another depth guy at wide receiver, you know, in case. You know, so maybe bring him back on a little cheap deal. Because he's not going to cost that much. He should be a little cheap guy. Shouldn't be anything over one and a half million. If he wants over one and a half million, let him walk. If he wants under that, bring him back. Here's the thing, um, next up we got tight end Johnny Mump, uh, we keep bringing him back, which I think is a decent thing, um, they say he is not worth one million, I'll give him one and a half million, if he doesn't like one and a half million, let him go. Here's the thing, he's a solid tight end number two, if he wants more than one and a half million though, let him walk, because we need money, we have to use money otherwise. You know, we have to use money smart. We have to use our money smart because we don't have a lot of it to use. So, I think we have, if we can get him back for under one and a half million dollars, bring him back. Not, don't bring him back. Next up, we got right guard Austin Corbett, unrestricted free agent. Uh, he's a nice right guard for us, I think, solid little, I mean, you know, I think right here, they say $7 million, if, you know, I don't really think a whole lot of teams are going to want him, I think they'll probably be able to get him on a little cheaper deal, probably more towards 5 $6 million. so I think it is a need to bring him back, because it shouldn't cost that much, um, but next up, we got Joseph Nobu, uh, unrestricted free agent, um, and I think giving him four or five million a year for a swing tackle is amazing. But you know, right now, Andrew Whitworth may retire, but even if Whitworth doesn't retire, I think we still need to bring No Boom back. Um, because when Whitworth does retire, No Boom is our replacement for him. We saw how well he played against the Bucks. He's going to be the replacement for Whitworth. I think he is a need to bring back. So, four to five million for him is a steal. Next up, we got centers Brian Allen and Coleman Shelton. Here's the thing: we bring back one of them. 
We don't need to bring back both, I don't think. Here's the thing, though. Coleman Shelton's been playing in... So, Brian Allen's a starter. Coleman Shelton's been playing in on a lot of, you know, extra linemen um, plays, you know. And with Joseph Noboom possibly getting a start, if Whitworth retires, then I think we keep Shelton. But, I don't know. So, Coleman Shelton actually had the higher salary in 2021. Um... But here's the thing, man. I, I don't know. So, Allen will probably come back only for around a couple million. And I can't see Coleman Shelton wanting anything over around league minimum. So, I think we can bring both of them back on pretty cheap deals. Next up, we got Jamal Denby. No reason to consider his return. He's just there for depth. Let him walk. Matt Gay. Definitely need to sign him back. We're paying him 3.4 million and player both sides. I I I give him more like four. We gotta make him want to come back, man. He's a nice kicker. We need him. He's shown what he can do for us. We need him to come back. Next up we got Sebastian Joseph Day. So I think his injury is gonna scare our potential suitors. So we'll probably be able to get him back at a good price. But he's still in line for a nice pay raise in any case. He's been a value of 660000 becoming a major injury. The Rams should be conservative. I can give him a solid one, one and a half million dollar deal. He's going to be set for him. Nice signing. Um, you know, he's been a solid player for us that shouldn't break the bank for us. Nothing over two million for him. You know, like I said, with the injury, people probably won't want him. Uh, next up, we got Von Miller. So, here's the thing. It's it's going to be hard to bring back all of these people. Because we honestly have a lot of people to bring back. Um, and we bring Von Miller back. Then, you know, it's, it's going to have to be on a little cheesy deal. Um, he said he wants to finish his career out with us. But that doesn't mean anything. You know, he's going to want to have money. But I, I think we've got a lot. I, I think, here's the thing. Next guy we're going to talk about, Ogbani Ogbanquo. We need to sign one of these two guys back. And Ogbo will obviously be the cheaper decision, but we can get more used out of Von Miller. We just traded two third-round picks away for Von Miller. I think we need to get our use out of him and re-sign him. I don't say don't give him any more than 10 million. If he wants more than 10 million, this man's like 32 years old. If he wants more than 10 million, let him go. Because we're not going to have this much money to spend. You know? Edge Ogbo. I think bring back Ron Miller. Let Ogbo walk. Uh, next up, we got linebacker Troy Reader and Travis Howard. Both of them are tweeners. They add value on special teams and backup situational players. Let them become free agents. I try and sign them around 900k each. Here's the thing: if either of them, you know, any more teams want them, they push it up past two. They push it up past one and a half million. Don't give them either, because even, you know, worst case scenario, we give them both one and a half million dollars. That's three million out of the bank right there for two solid backup inside linebackers and two nice special teamers. Three million. That's not that bad. Next up, we got Darius Williams. He's had a lot of struggles this year. I don't know if we're going to re-sign him. But if another team is offering him a nice pile of cash, the Rams will get a nice compensatory pick for him. But here, here's the thing. If he wants a lot of money, if another team offers him a chunk of cash, we're going to have to let him walk because we don't have a lot of money to re-sign him. I think most I would pay him is $5 million. You know, give him a nice little deal. But, um, yeah. Next up, we got quarterback Dante Dion. Um, I think let Dion walk. We can, we're going to need to pick up a new quarterback in the draft anyway, so let Dion walk. I don't really care. We, we could probably get him on a little cheap deal, but let him walk. So, to wrap it up, here's the guy. Here's the people I think are the people I think are needs to bring back um 
Wide receiver OBJ, guard Austin Corbett, tackle Joseph Newborn, kicker Matt Gay. Um, I will sign both inside linebackers because here's the thing: OBJ, 15 million. Corbett, give him a little sneaky. Okay, guys. So I have us spending about. So this is without signing Darius Williams. I didn't even count on Von Miller. So I have us spending about fifty million in free agency, and that would be re-signing. Here we go. This is going to be re-signing John Wolford. Not Sony Michelle, not Buddy Howell, OBJ, um, Austin Corbett, Joseph Nobun, Brian Allen, and Coleman Hilton, Matt Gay, Sebastian Joseph Day, Von Miller, both linebackers, Troy Reader and Travis Howard, um, the and Darius Williams, um, for all fifty million. That'd be like base contracts. You know, we're gonna wanna have to come back, guys, but um that is going to be all for today's video, guys, and I will see you guys next time.